Let him have it. Break this man's will. Yes, sir. And I'm about to cook real quick because, you know, I ain't got time to play with you. All right, what's good everyone? Welcome to the channel and today we're gonna get to some Final Fantasy 16. So without any further delay, let's play. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's get it. Let's go talk to Otto, see what's up. Yo, that last battle was epic, man. I need, I need, I need more fights like that. I need more, I need more kaiju battles to be that epic. But Kuko got what was, what was coming to him. He got what was coming to him, indeed. You go against the king, you best not miss, man. You better take your shot and aim true. All right, what's good, what's good my boy? What'd it do? Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupker is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back in Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any, uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. All right. Yes, yes. Another history lesson. See you. What else we need to take out? Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? All right, let's go. The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. 
Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? Not me. Or it better not be me. In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Yes, sir. Let's let them all know. We took them out. We got our payback. All right, so who's first? Oh, yeah, Sharon. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Oh, too late. It already went to my head. Is it business or pleasure? Always business. Always business. Ooh. Hold on, let's see what we get. Okay, so... The attack is up, but the will is down. See what else you get. And of course, we get one potion. Me blind, you know. I'm gonna have to come back for that enhancer. Hmm. Finished, are you? For now. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. This is it then. A new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Yeah, he took the news better than Karen, like he actually cared. Back, are ya? Let's see what you got. Symphonian, do you? Oh, so you got an enhancer plus one. No scratches, right? Yep. Let me go ahead and grab you. Um, okay, I need some more bone to get you up. What about you? Let's go and grab you say so myself. and let's see what we can reinforce. Oh, yeah, work, but it'll do. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You can thank me later. Let's equip you. Okay, we need another diamond and two meteorites. 
All right. Um, I'll take that. All right, let's get it. Yep, we got one more person to talk to. And then hopefully we can move on to the next part of the story. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. He... Oh, my. Can he really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. All right, let's go. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. That's right, you heard right. I took out Hugo. All right, let's see what Otto has to say. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. All right. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Mid. I think this is a shortcut, or, not, or the fastest route. Not really a shortcut, but the fastest route.
All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapours away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armour then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. All right. Um, where was this guy at? Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, Black. That's right. That's right. That's right. Blackthorn. Come on, he's over here. All right, so we need to do these tasks real quick. So we can get on to our next big boss battle. Hopefully it's Odin. I want, I want Odin. I want to give Odin the hands. I was good. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How with it? It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Krieger's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will ya? Alright. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand cut in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. All right, um, 
Hold on, what's going on? You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Um, I wonder, does it really matter? Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You two, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. All right, let's get to it. Um. Oh yeah, let's just go on ahead and uh. Put our wrong button. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's travel. All right, let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. Um, mid, always got to make it, you know, make your boy work. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Yeah, where is Gav? Where you at, my guy? Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. What's good, my guy? to keep you gav better late than never i've had a quick scout about and i reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can don't know what blackthorn's planning to do with it though i asked over in dalamil and they seem to think it was worthless but if stardust is what blackthorn wants stardust is what he'll get there's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. All right. Um. Let's see if I'm going to right. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Okay, we're good. Oh, is it Stardust? Is it right here? This is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. Uh-huh. All right. One more. And that should do it. No. Three more. No, two more. Two more. Um, let's go up here. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Um... It's all down here. It's all down here. I'm just being extra. Okay, here we go. Uh, my boy, I'm gonna need you to pick up this stardust. And the last one, if I was annoying stardust, I'd probably be down here somewhere. Or over here. Yeah, down here somewhere, like I said. Down here somewhere. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. All right. Oh, what's this? We got. Nice. I will take the. All right, my boy look like he's struggling. I need to stop jumping. I'm just trying to press X. There we go. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That 
might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Alright. Well, that was easy. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. All right. Let's do it. it. Was good, my guy. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Quest complete. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. Just real quick. Um... Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Yeah, let's go. I'm trying to get back to the main story, man. It was getting real good. I, I wonder what Joshua and old boy was talking about. I'm trying to get to that. I want to know the facts. Who is this Ultima? What does he want with me? You know? Uh, what's going to happen to Joshua with the Ultima inside of him? Or is, or is he going to break free from Joshua, maybe? I don't know, but I want to find out. Will Odin get these hands or will we be friends? I don't know. But I want to find out. All right, come on, mate. Let's go. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, 
bad, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Yeah, let's talk to what's her name? Helena? Or Helena? Hello. Which one? Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's head to Lost Wing, shall we? All right, let's go. Let's see who this unwanted guest is. It might be an orc, or it might be. It might be a dragon, like one of those flying dragons. Or, hold on, let me see. How do I get over there? Um, this way. It's this way, yeah. Am I going the right way, or am I uh? going the wrong way. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Um, all right, let's go this way. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. I think we're in the right way. Or what can it be? Or, or what if it's one of those, those, that, that cat thing with the, the electricity? I wonder. Grab you. Um, let's go up here. I could be going the wrong way. I'm hoping this is the right way. Let's grab you. Well, at least I grab some stuff, though. At least we get some things. Um, yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think. Hold on, um, yeah, this way, up here, yeah, just right there, I 
All right, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I gotta go to the. I think I have to go the other way. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm just go the other way. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's go over here. And let's go up these stairs. And then... Alright, this should be the right way. This should be the right way. I feel it. I was going the wrong way, but this one is the right one. This way is the right way. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. This way is the right way. And, uh, hey, you're doing a good job, sir. Let me call my chocobo. Good and let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's grab you, though. Let's grab you. Let's not forget you. Nice. Got a potion. Oh, but then we were good, so we didn't need it, so it, it doesn't matter. All right, it was free. It was free 99. Pick my five gilly. I'll take it. Hold on, can we take it out? Hold on, let me carry y'all. Let me put you on my back. Let me carry you for the whole team. Hold on. Where you at? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab you. Yep. Where you running to, hmm? Where you going, hmm? No, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yep. You're done. I had to. All right. I had to. But what does triangle do? Okay. Nothing. Nothing at all. We just have to mash square. Let's use these plants. Yep. Do we need to fight them. Not really. Okay. We are here. Where's, oh, where's this guy at? Or this thing at, this monster at, this beast. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Yeah, you stay right here. Where you at, my guy? Anybody home? Oh, it's you. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, 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 we ready. We ready. We ready. Oh, we ready this time, man. You got me last time. Everybody gets one. Oh, let me try out my new attack. Hey, you stay right there, my guy. Stay right there. Okay, hold this. Yes, sir. Ooh. Nice. You about to do nothing? My boy. Come here. I mean, you stop moving, sir. Don't run from this. Let him have it. Break this man's will. Yes, sir. And I'm about to cook real quick because, you know, I ain't got time to play with you. Yep. And let's uh cook some more. Nice. Yep. Oh, we cooking this man. You ain't so tough now. 
Like you got me last time, but now I know how you, how you move. I know how you operate. So the doctor is in, sir. Oh, hold on, hold on. Almost got his will down. Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. My boy, let's cook. All right, all right, all right. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this, we got this, we got this. Weave, weave, weave. My boy, stop that. Let's see what we got. It's gonna hurt my guy. You're done now. Come here. Come here. I'm about to get these hands, good sir. Enemy slain. All right, that was fun. That was better than last time. Last time I didn't understand this guy and he cooked me nicely. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Quest complete. All right. Let it go off Steam 2. Ooh. The Eye of the Warrior. All right, now where's that item at? All right. I ain't forgot about you. I was about to grab you and then the battle took. OK, never mind. It's gone. It is gone. All right. You got lucky. You got lucky item. You get away this time. All right. So let's go talk to mid again and finish this quest so we can get this story rolling. Yeah. All right. We'll just go this way because I think it, it may not be. It may, it may not be. But I think it's the fastest route. So let's see what's it about. OK, here we go. One more. Just got to do one more thing and we should be good. All right, what else you got? Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more way and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Yep, gotta be a little errand boy. Little errand boy. All right, come on. Let's do this real quick. Uh, go this way. Editors started reading books that don't have any 
I mean, it would have been nice while I was out there, you know, getting the other two items that, you know, you went to them and you said, hey, I talked to them and here's what I need. And then we get going. But, uh, well, here we are. I went up to give some greens to the chocolate. What's good, my guy? I haven't seen you in a while. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? And what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. All right. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. 
effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Alright. Let's head out. So what's this? We're just shopping? Is that it? No. Where's okay. Joe? Okay, here we go. Yep, we're out here just shopping. Just hitting the market. Them pooches nice and chilled. Okay, I see it. I can't help myself. It's calling me. Yep. What else we got? Yeah. Okay. Two gill. All right. All right. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me go back. It was just two gill. It's not worth it. All right. Let's go. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. All righty then. All right. So let's go find these what pepio, pepio nuts and garlic. What can I interest you in today? Oh, that garlic, my boy. I trust it's all here. Keep fighting the good fight. Oh, will do. I appreciate it, man. Stay strong. Fight the power, man. Fight the power. And my good sir right here. What you got? What do you want? Hey, I want these pepio nuts, my boy. And? I heard they were fire. <laughs> That's everything. Appreciate it. Let's see how Jill's getting on. All right, done and done. What you got? Some bread. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. You're right. <laughs> it's 
sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. All right, that was light work. Clear view. All right, let's get back to it. All right, mid, enough is enough with these, uh, these, uh, these errands. These what tedious. Is getting on with the moon dew. There you go. That's the, that's what I was looking for. These tedious errands. All right, let's go, my boy. What you got? What you about to whip up? How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Quest complete. All right. Letting off steam three. We're almost there. Let's go. Let's go hit up Mid. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Go hit up mid, and then we'll be able to go visit the grave of Sid and pay respect. Got stuck there for a second. All right, here we are. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid, but you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, 
Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! <laughs> You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Some time later. It's finished! It's finally finished! for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? All right, cool, cool, cool. What's the matter? Nothing, just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the Blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right, my mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. That's I done. She was building a ship. All right, Clive. Astrid. We've finished sending half the Idaway tropes in across the twins, has she? 
I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Oh, you're not running. Hold on. Uh, okay, here we go. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? All right, cool, cool, cool. Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. No one better than Gav. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. All right, so let's go back to the old hideaway. Sid's legacy. Sid's legacy, Central Storm. Once. If he'd have been with us, 
Maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals. Free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad Market. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Alright, that's going to do it for now. We're going to pause right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and come again and hang out with your boy. Peace.